hey guys i'm back with another video and if you guys liked this simple on the run kind of look then keep watching so first up i'm starting with max factors healthy skin harmony foundation i don't have foundation so well it says miracle foundation so hopefully it will look all right It has a weird, it has a weird kind of burnt off smell. Okay, so the foundation is done and my face looks flawless, so not having a concealer doesn't really matter. So let's move on to powder. The next is powder. It is the Cream Puff Press Powder. <laughs> Everything's flying out. You get a sponge and a little plastic thing on top. Not that you ever use that. This can be a very natural look because I'm not doing highlight or bronzer but I'm going to move on to the brows so here we have the brow shaper it comes with a spoolie in the end it's just a double-ended brow pencil it's quite a dark one actually what shade is this in? It's in deep brown bay. I just get a medium to dark brown pencil whenever I buy eyebrow pencils. Okay, so next we're going to move on to eyes. I'm going to do eyeliner. I also want to show you, I've got this little gift set thing that I'm going to include and test out the products. It includes a Curl Elixir lipstick in burnt caramel, a false lash epic mascara in black, and a long wear eyeliner in charcoal. So, I'm going to start with liquid liner. This is the Masterpiece High Position Highliner in a felt tip pen. This has not got a normal tip, you are not going to be able to see it but basically because a normal tip it points and goes straight out. This is like rounded and it has like two flat sides, I don't, it's hard to describe if you haven't seen it but it's got a weird eyeliner. Okay, so just on the eyeliner, and I just want to say it's like very, very hard to get a straight flick when the pen isn't a felt, a felt it point because because of because it's like rounded, it's it's like just impossible. But let's move on to do mascara. So the mascara I'm going to be using is the Full Slash Epic. 
I've actually heard nothing about this mascara. Let's see. It's quite a fat package, so let's see how big it is. Oh, that's interesting. So it's not as fat as I would fall. It's not a, like a straight wand. It kind of, it's like, like the sort of like the eyeliner. It kind of goes like that. And at the end, it's got a point. And instead of the bristles coming out normally, they stick out like spike. You know like them caveman like things where the, the spikes would come out like that. That's probably to actually do get that under eyelashes easy so interesting to try this out I'm not sure because it's brand new and it's quite wet but it is giving me a bit of a clumpy vibe okay so the eyelash is done it's definitely quite a clumpy look and I did find it easy just to use the one normally for the bottom lashes instead of doing that especially if you've done your base first you're gonna get like black dots under your eyes so but that eyeliner is like a 0 out of 10 just wouldn't recommend it I have to see how I feel about that mascara it's the first time I'm using it but it doesn't look bad but it is quite clumpy so next let's move on I think it's the lips already so I have two lip products that I can lay on top of each other first I've got a normal bullet lipstick from Max Factor obviously it is in burnt caramel 745 for a name like burnt caramel you'd think it'd be more of a ready brownie nudie kind of colour but it looks like a pinky purple mauve if I know how to open this because it has a sticker oh that's so cool it says on the label made in England which is funny because most products are like made in China or made in America fancy packaging so this is the whole lipstick I've basically turned out doesn't look like there's much in there but let's see what the colour is like mm, it's very creamy I normally only ever wear liquid lipstick so trying a bullet for a, for a very long time it's, it feels weird Okay, so okay, so this colour is just like a your average pink. It's like a muted pink, kind of like your lips, but better kind of colour. Obviously, it's not going to stay on because it's not liquid lipstick, but with the look, it's quite nice. So, final one, I think. Yep, is. I already had this, this wasn't part of the box collection, I already had this in my drawer but it's the Max Factor, damn it doesn't have a name, forgot what it was, it's the Infinity one, I don't know what shade it is but obviously oh, I put DLs down below in the bio anyway so you can check it out, I can't remember but it's the Infinity collection, it's a lip gloss, so let's see, it's actually quite darker than the lipstick so yeah basically it covers the colour of the lipstick so if you want to put a gloss over your lipstick clear one might be better 
Okay, and I think that is everything. That concludes this video. It was a very quick, very quick look. It's nice and basic, something you could wear to like work or if you're running late. Just chuck it on because you don't have to worry about bronzer or highlights. Foundation, powder, brows, mascara, eyeliner, and then you have to do eyeliner, mascara, and then a bit of lipstick. And you're done. Oh, it messes my hair. That is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, I'll see you guys later.